Hey everyone, I'm glad we're back. Uh, yesterday, as you know, it was inauguration day. So we figured we'd come live today, 12 o'clock and do the inauguration fashion that we saw yesterday. I know there have been so many posts already made about it, but of course we have to do our own version of talking about color analysis and some things that I think could have been switched up to really just play well with each individual person. So we're gonna go through and break it down. The other thing was, there was this tremendous emphasis on meaning, you know, a nod to this, uh, you know, this for that. Um, mm -hmm. And it, when you're talking color analysis and wearing your best colors, that's kind of a little bit uh, mm -hmm. a feel, but I still think we can talk about, chat about yeah. it. So we kind of heard everyone was wearing purple just because it's blending of the two colors and talking about unity. So we saw a lot, a lot of people wearing purple. But you know what else? They, some people were saying that they wore purple for suffragettes. Mm -hmm. Who um, that was some? You know, it was kind of purple was big, and for multiple reasons. Some people saw it as the blending of red and blue. Um, some people did it uh, for the suffragette movement, and some people did it um, because uh, Shirley Chisholm always wore purple. I gotcha. All right, so let's dive into our first purple look. Now, I grabbed this article from Bazaar. Harper Bazaar, and um, they titled it All the Best Fashion Moments from the Inauguration, which was interesting because there are a couple fashion moments that I have to say I did not love, but this one I happen to really like on her. So I have to say our new vice president wore purple, and I think this purple looked so good on her. But Beautiful. It was beautiful. And somebody else wore this color purple, and I do not love it. So hold on, because we are going to get to that. But this one, I thought it looked good. And she also wore cool accessories with this purple. This is a very jewel tone purple. So I think that's something important to mention. It's not what we consider a neutral purple that everyone can wear. This is very jewel bright, colorful. So as you can see, Kamala Harris, I mean, winter all the way. She even wore... I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the black masks that I saw a lot with the outfits, but I think it would have been cool to have, you know, just a little bit something instead, but black well, still looks I good. Love, I love the solid masks that were the same color as the co the ensemble. The I monochromatic cool. look. Yeah, I, I love, love the, I love the monochromatic look. I wasn't a huge fan of just the solid black mask. I think, you know, you could have just dressed it up a little bit more, but I still love this coat. Love the dress underneath, the heels. She did her accessories black, if you notice her gloves, her mask, and her heels, which paired nicely. You know, she stayed within the winter palette. It was good. I like this this one. Well, now, well. I have to bring up a purple that I did not love since we were talking about it. And I couldn't believe Harper Bazaar put this as the best fashion moment because I cannot stand this look for some <laughs> reason. All right, so, girl. <laughs> so here we go. It's what Hillary Clinton wore, I cannot, I do not like, the, I don't like anything about it. There's not a single piece that I like about it. Well, Hillary is typically a summer. So remember, mm -hmm. her purple would need to be kind of muted. Right. It, 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 the other thing that I didn't quite get was the pairing of the purple outfit with the coat that, the purple, I, I think the coat was probably a burgundy, but the, that purple, that vivid purple made that coat look brown. Mm -hmm. to the eye and that was a kind of a weird thing because it's a summer and I think she's a summer I mean there her hair is a little bit blonder in the light but she just doesn't have the uh palette oomph, uh to pull off the summer so yeah I, should, I mean the spring but right. yeah so uh, you might you might uh, sometimes if you're gonna use a color and you're forced to use that color if you go monochromatic head to toe you can get away with it because then you don't have the competing other things bouncing around here. I think it was a miss. Yeah. So let's talk about this because I could not believe Harper Bazaar said this is one of the best fashion moments. When I read this, I was like, this is my least favorite out of all of them. So she's wearing a black mask, which once again is going to wash her out because she's a summer, right? Nice. So also that jewel tone purple, this is more of a winter color. The purple that she needs to be in is dustier. Remember if you're summer, you need to kind of make it a little bit softer. Purple is a great color for everyone, but there's little tiny nuances. And this is not that purple. That's great on everyone. This is a very jeweled tone purple. And then the jacket, once again, I don't know if that's aubergine. I don't know if that's brown. I have no idea what is even happening with that jacket. I don't, I don't understand yeah, it. I don't quite get it either. You know, I think that it was one of those things where she was like, yeah, we got to go to this thing. What do I have? 
Yeah, and then let's talk, we have black gloves, I think, and black shoes also. So I just, I don't, this did not, this was not anything in her palette. None of this was in her palette. So there's not a single piece. There, there was a quote in one of these magazines, maybe it was Vogue, maybe it was something mm -hmm. else where she said, oh yeah, I heard it was all about unity, so I wore something purple. Yeah, but we can find the right purple. There's a right purple out there for you, but this was not it for her. I will have to say that it was just not the right purple. But there's summers. We all know you just need to kind of make it a little bit dustier when you're rocking your purple. I that very well. Mm -hmm. Now let's grab. Should we grab more purples or should we mix it up a little bit? Why don't we stay on purple because it helps everybody kind of see comparatively what is going on. All right, so the next purple, I think she stole the show with this purple. I just absolutely love it. Michelle Obama, this outfit was amazing. She looks so good. This, now, I, as a color expert, I'm gonna throw in that this, to me, is not really purple. It's yeah, more it's, a berry or a wine. So I get it, you know, kind of a nod to headed toward purple around the color wheel, but this is not purple. To me. Yeah, it, it's definitely more of a berry. Um, if it, really, I would take red and then put a hint of purple to make the shade instead of taking purple and then maneuvering right. it to it's something. Else. On it, plum, which is considered a purple that comes kind of beyond this, it's a lot bluer. This mm -hmm. is to me a wine or a, a it's a wine. Come mm -hmm. on, let's just say it. Yeah, the one thing I did want to point out is her gold belt because of course her outfit is very cool and she's wearing a gold belt. But since it's not showing on the neck area, it's not gonna be reflecting back, do not worry about metal tones. If you're like wearing a bracelet, things along those lines, belts, you don't have to worry so much. Um, like for me as a warmer season, if I wear black pants, it's all right. As long as my shirt's really reflecting, it's what's <laughs> reflecting. Yeah, I count on that. Mm -hmm. So I, but this, I love this. I absolutely love this. I, what if I could find it better? in my out or in my right colors, I would wear this. Well, I think you have that coat. I do have something very, very similar, actually. Um, but I think it could have been better. And it, it, there were a few times I saw this. The women whose gloves and masks, I mean, this is a whole new area of fashion we're talking about, but having your gloves and match, gloves and masks match, that is a cool look. Mm -hmm. And I would have liked to see that. Well, Michelle's wearing uh, black gloves and a black mask. Yeah, but I would like to see it monochromatic. With oh, that. oh, you're talking about monochromatic yeah. look. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I, there was a lot of monochromatic looks. I know that there was another article when I was looking at Harper Bazaar where they were talking about all the different monochromatic looks. It was kind of what's hot right now is the jacket, the dress. But speaking, actually, this will take me perfectly into another woman who we saw completely monochromatic look was joe biden and she was wearing her correct colors <laughs> in her colors mm -hmm. that whole she had on um part of the time it doesn't show here kid gloves that matched her coat she did um, her mask matched her coat her shoes matched her coat everything matched in her season um just beautiful beautiful put beautifully put together and the coat which is kind of a nod to the i don't know the specialness of the occasion was studded with Swarovski crystals oh <laughs> when she walked it kind of glistened it was so pretty why why don't we have jewels attached in all of our clothing well so yeah, we I, can walk. I think you can wait a, like <laughs> approximately hmm, a year and mm -hmm. you will have this coat off the rack um with jewels attached they, were, they also talked a lot about uh, Vice President Harris's stepdaughter, who wore kind of a tweed coat with you know what? over the shoulders. I have, I have her look as well, Ella. Ella. Mm -hmm. Now, I it, it, the Browns. Eh, I think she's a winner. Mm -hmm. So if if she could have done something like with a black and white hound's tooth with her jewels, it, in my opinion, it would have been better. Um, but everybody was digging the jewels i do like the jewels aspect of it and i like the collar of it but the warm brown on her does not look as great as something like you were talking about houndstooth that would have looked awesome um but she was wearing the black mask the black gloves 
So that, it kind of helped her a little bit, but it still you know, made her skin. Did it? I, I think it helped hide some of what the brown would really do. Like if she wasn't wearing a mask, the brown would really reflect back and it would have grayed out her skin tone a lot. But since Good point. she has that, she has the contrast with her hair and the mask, it helped. And her skin. Mm -hmm. you know. And the white collar helped a little bit, but it's still that overall brown kind of steals away from her. So I think going, I think she could have gone jewel toned, any any of those bright, bold purples, and she would have looked amazing. Well, also, it, it, and you tell me if I'm just being weird, but the crystal didn't match the plaid. I mean, mm -hmm. the plaid was kind of a softer uh, mm -hmm. plaid. The brown was not really, it was like a brownish, grayish, brownish thing. And then all of a sudden you get these warm brown crystals that that didn't quite help anything. Yeah, I just I don't love this on her. I guess I'll say but that. I just we really stole the show as far as the crystals mm -hmm. and a lot of people were talking about. It. That's true. I do really love the crystals on the shoulders right there and how they kind of fade down. I really, really like that aspect of it. But the, the I was colors. thinking about Maybe it's time to whip out the old bedazzler. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not there yet. Not there yet. Okay. Well. All right. Let's see. Me. Who else do we have? We had Lady Gaga. Let's take a look at Lady Gaga. <sighs> she was amazing. She looked good, but I have to say, she's wearing a bunch of gold accessories that were really making her skin look a bit yellow tone. Like if I saw one where she was wearing. It was an angle on the other side. So if her the dove was over here, it was an angle over here. And she looked so spectacular because she didn't have the gold shining, reflecting back. And it was making her skin tone look yellow. Mm -hmm. And when she was just wearing the black top and she had the red dress, it looked so stunning. Her skin tone looked great. Her hair looked good because I feel like the yellow is also competing in her hair a little bit. Like in her braid, it's looking a bit yellow. Well, I thought that the braid was actually a metallic uh, something or other that kind of was woven into her hair because it definitely didn't match her hair. Oh, I mean, I... who knows? But yeah, I totally get that. Mm -hmm. But, the, you know, who, who else could wear that dress? Who no on one. the planet <laughs> could wear that dress? Yeah, I mean, that dress was amazing. I just, I could not, the gold jewelry was really throwing it off for me. Know. And they say, though, that brooches, you know, are making a comeback, mm -hmm. brooches of all kinds. And it, it's really important to know your season so that you know what color brooch that you're going to be wearing coming up. Right. With something that massive and right here on your chest, it's going to be reflecting back. And that gold was just, and it even made her lipstick look like an orange red lipstick and not a blue based lipstick, which it was. It was a. It was it's a your skirt, right? Right. It was a very blue based lipstick, but next to the gold, it was turning it so um, orange based, kind of like like a chili or I I don't know. It was just it was going way too orange for me. Everything was that was reflecting off of that was just going way too warm. So I think if she switched lesson, her jewels, the lesson is right. Follow your season in your accessories. Yeah, exactly. And she opted for another thing, a gold mic. So her mic was gold and her earpieces were gold, which was kind of like yeah. gold jewelry everywhere. You know, and I get it because there was, it was almost, there was like a sort of a nod to like militaristic kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And, oh. you know, I get it, the uniform, the gold mm -hmm. button. Yeah, everyone was saying um, it looked like she was ready for the Hunger Games. That was like <laughs> the joke about Lady Gaga was she was ready to go out for um, an award show at the Hunger Games. But yeah. I completely agree with that. I there is just that gold jewelry was just a bit too big for what it was doing on the dress. So I would have switched all that to silver oh and I it she would have looked awesome. Yeah, I hear you. All right, let's grab let's grab Laura Bush because she had an interesting um I actually really like the silhouette and her look. I just don't think it was the right color for her. So this was a different article I found because I wanted to include her in this. Bazaar, Harper's Bazaar did not have her listed, but and I wanted to include her. Always, except for in this case, where's her season? Her seasonal mm -hmm. color, you, you can almost always see her in her palette. Right. And here, 
no, no, no. You know, George, who's a summer now, you know, in the mustard, dude. If he would have looked good in that coat. I know it's so bad for me to say, but I like that softer color on him. I think it would have looked really good on him. This that like gray blue. I think yeah, it would have looked good. well. His tie is that color. Mm -hmm. and if whip that scarf off off of his neck or give him a scarf that color. It'd be hot. Yeah, think about how good that gray blue would look on uh, George Bush. But I didn't love it on Laura, and her but, hair looks so warm in this. But you know, to to your point, if we put that scarf over on Laura. Boom. Yeah, just a little quick switcheroo, and it would have been perfect. <laughs> well, they should have a color analyst at the door when people are walking out to do these mm -hmm. quick changes. I love now, it. I had to bring up this next person because mm -hmm. she wasn't she wasn't mentioned in the Harper's Bazaar article either, but I had to do her separately because I wanted to bring up and get everyone's opinion who is a color analysis expert because. Oh, she looks so just good. She looks amazing. Everything about her is amazing. But this outfit, it was like pure white and she's so warm. Well, I think I told you at the time, mm -hmm. this isn't good. And and you know what? I get oh. it. Sometimes there were, it, it, the, the white, again, suffragettes, meaningful, but everybody can wear a white. This is mm -hmm. white, and but it's not that white. There's and, nuances to every white that you can wear. Yeah, and she really needed to, just a little bit of gold in her white. I mean, mm -hmm. just a tiny little bit. Also, white is really tough unless the fabrics are incredibly coordinated. So if you notice on her, what you're seeing is multiple colors of white. They're all blue-white, but because the textures in the fabric reflect light in a different way, the pants look more like a blue, blue, pale bluish white, and the jacket yeah. is kind of a different deal. And so, if you're doing white and you're doing monochrome in particular, you've got to pay close attention to the fabric and the way it reflects light because yeah. you can very easily look like you went to your closet and picked out any white thing. Yeah. And it made her skin tone. This picture doesn't do it justice when I first, there's one image of her like walking down the carpet. And it made her skin tone look so orange versus how golden she is because it's just, it's bringing out all those yellow and orange undertones, having the pure white instead of showing, you know, her natural glowing skin tone. And that's what kind of threw this whole thing off. It is so frustrating because if she just added the slightest little hint of gold or any just well, making it ivory. Correct me if I'm wrong, but her earbuds were diamonds. Right? Uh, yeah, they were silver again. The diamond or that because the way they reflected. And Sue, mm -hmm. her, Sue just um, posted a really good point. And she said she was, she thought she was wearing light denim pants at first glance. And that's exactly the problem with certain colors. Moving, I wanted to move along to our next look, which, well, we have, we have two more left. Um, one is a bright, bold color. Let's just go with bright and bold because why not? We'll have fun. And this was Amanda Gorman. This was the poet, the poet, poet laureate of the United States. And I want to make sure we all notice how this yellow looks because there it's is, so I know there is a difference and it is a hard difference to find a cool yellow versus a warm yellow. And she found a cool yellow and it looks so good on her. She rocked it. This jacket is perfect. This this is exactly the winter yellow that we talk about. It's cool. It's just stunning. Well, it's cool, a cooler yellow. I don't want to say that it's cool because some people might think yellow is not cool. No, yellow is not cool. It's not but cool. in our <laughs> world, when you're looking at the spectrum of yellow, you've got mm -hmm. the golden yellows on one end, and then you've got the citrus yellows mm -hmm. on the other end. And for winters, the citrus yellow, remember, we're still in jewel tones. There's not really a jewel that's bright yellow, mm -hmm. but citrus for winters. And she was just lovely. And her hair, hair band was beautiful. Um, and it was just gorgeous. Yeah, I was going to say, I would have never thought to compliment the yellow and the red hair band together. I would just, I, I would have never thought it. And she looked amazing. I absolutely love it. I love both of those colors together. And her coat was like all the way down to her ankles. It was so tailored. It was perfect. 
And what I saw that was really kind of awesome um, was, was that it, there was a spectrum of color in these ladies' coats. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they had, it, you know, everything from blue, um, mm -hmm. Amy Klobuchar, I think she was in orange, or um, mm -hmm. but they, they set it up as a rainbow from blue to green um, to yellow. Mm -hmm. Well, we talked about Michelle Obama being kind of like in the purple category, but really, you know, as we were, red. yeah, it, you could also kind of consider that as a red as well. So you had like the red, the orange, the yellow right here looked amazing. I mean, there was definitely a beautiful spectrum going on of Absolutely. everything on the rainbow. Mm -hmm. And just, I know this is a little off the color topic, but Amanda Gorham's skin was radiant. Mm -hmm. Did you notice? I mean, that she was beautiful. That yellow looks so good. I think this is one of the only ones where somebody really stayed within their season and was playing with color and it looked fantastic. This yeah, just the whole yeah. thing just well Joe, Joe Biden too. Joe, Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Um she looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. Uh but there were some but also she's wearing two totally different mm -hmm. colors. She didn't do the monochromatic look. So I really like this because I would have never thought to pair it. Of course, you know, we think, oh, monochromatic, we can pair it really easily. They come together. But this was just awesome. I really liked how she did this. Primary. Primary mm -hmm. colors. Right. Which, um, which again, you've got to be a you got to be a winter. Mm -hmm. You got to be. Um, and, you know, to rock that kind of, it's almost like Mondrian, you know, the, the kids palettes, you know, were just knock them dead primary and she mm -hmm. just knocks us dead. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, lastly, I saved Katy Perry since she ended the Celebrating America show with the fireworks and did all that. So I figured we would just save her for the last of this show. And I have to say, this image that Harper Bazaar used, I don't love it because it really reflects mm -hmm. yellow. But this dress is not yellow, or it doesn't have, it's not ivory, I should say. It's very cool winter white. And she also has a very her hair is very bleached, cool white as well. So this image does not do her justice because I thought the look was actually really beautiful. But I had to put it in here because it she looked really good. And I have to say. Yeah, I think she did. Mm -hmm. But um, her, her color, it did match her hair. Mm -hmm. cool. um, the light, the reflected light. And, it, you know, at night, it's, yeah, it, 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 it's not as bad as if we were looking at it in the day. But there were some reflected light challenges where um, where it kind of, well, we're seeing it here, where mm -hmm. the, the color sat, in particular, satin, mm -hmm. white satin, forget it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is tough to, to get everything to look like it is of a piece. But also with the satin, there was a lot of detail work on the clothing. There was like this sort of corset thing happening under this overlay happening. Yeah. The picture of the gloves plus the train and it created this kind of you you couldn't you couldn't really pick up the detail with your eye because it was all one color mm -hmm. and it made to me um, and you guys may jump on this on me for this but it made it look bunchy like the clothes around her were kind mm -hmm. of bunchy rather than that you know in satin I always look for a really elegant silhouette in kind of 30s deco vibe and all of the stuff um, you know I think. It, there could have been a different fabric choice that would yeah be but mm -hmm. overall i agree with you she looked beautiful uh but i just wanted to see something a little bit more sleek what i should have done is grabbed her instagram photos from this day because she did post on instagram and you could see the actual texture of the dress the white satin with her hair her makeup her jewels everything looks really really good obviously this picture doesn't show it off all of these photos i was looking at all the different celebrities that ended up singing at the Celebrating America event. And everything was outside, it was dark. So, I mean, <laughs> all of the clothes were hard to find. The only one that I struggled, or I tried to do Demi Lovato, but the light reflecting from um, all of the videos that were surrounding her, she was kind of like standing um, with videos and things going on in the background. And yeah, I did a surround mm -hmm. screen. Did, how did you like her hair? I love the pink, don't get me wrong, I love it. but. This is something interesting that I want, this is homework for everyone. People were saying she was wearing a Stella McCartney blazer that was gray, but I thought it was beige. The whole time I thought it was beige and people are saying it was a gray 
blazer set that she was wearing and it looks beige. When I was watching the Celebrating America event last night, I thought she was wearing a brown suit, but I, I don't know. Harper's here's Bazaar the called it gray. I was thinking it was pinkish brown. Like be, I, I, maybe because the eye, my eye was pulling down from her hair. I, mm -hmm. So what are the lessons for today in all of this that we've, we've shown you? Um, one, obviously, the lesson we always repeat is to make sure you're in your palette. Right. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, Sarah? Texture I think matters. I, I do believe texture matters. I think Amanda Gorman taught me a valuable lesson about those primary colors and how good they look together. I still would never have thought to pair, pair that yellow and the red together like she did. I remember, you're soft. Loved it. Mm -hmm. You're soft. A winter can absolutely do that. Right. But... I, I just would have never thought those two colors would fit so well together. And I thought that was a lesson for me that I learned. That was awesome that she looked great in. And yeah. then I have to say masks is another one. You have to be careful of your mask, what color you're using. Because as we saw, Hillary Clinton wearing that black mask completely washed her out. I mean, I couldn't even look at the color. <laughs> I couldn't look at at her hair. It just washed and also, her out. Also, you know, this may date me and you know, I'm, I'm 65 five years old, so I have a certain view on things. But the black masks, I feel like, are a little masculine. And I think that it, 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 they're just a little harsh, uh, except in the case of Winters. Who can rock a black mask? Yeah, I think Michelle Obama looked really good with her mask. I, I didn't mind it at all. I actually really liked how she did her gloves and her mask match it in the black. I'm sure I didn't see her boots. I wonder which color shoes she wore. I'm not totally sure. I don't remember. Me either. And I don't think it was in the photo either. But it's still, I mean, whether she went with burgundy or whether she went with black, both options would have been really adorable. Well, can we talk a minute about Bernie? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bernie just stole the show. Let's be honest. Bernie yeah. with his gloves and his um, his winter coat. Yes. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. I, the memes from the internet on Bernie were hilarious. I was cracking yeah. up. They were yeah, so good. Those big mittens were like awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, LaDonna just dropped in with some information we were looking for, black boots. Ah, uh, see, uh, that still is cute though. It would have been hard to find matching boots with that outfit. So yeah, LaDonna, I, black boots, perfect for that as well. Cause then you have the black boots, the gloves and the mask all in that uh, combo. And it paired really nicely with the burgundy for Michelle. I mean, that outfit looked amazing. It did. And you know what, I, I, I want to make sure that I'm not sounding too harsh because let's face it, it was cold out there. I, it was really cold because we're there and it was cold air. Um, but certain things you can do when you're bulked up like that, I mean, and Michelle did it, when she entered, rather than having her coat closed, she had her coat open. So that created a vertical line for her. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. When you, you, know, you get everything bunched up, and, and I think that made the pants, which were oversized. Remember, we were talking about oversized pants before. I think that made it work because she cut that line um, with her coat, mm -hmm. which which worked fine. And, of course, um, the Joe Bidens of the world, you know, fitted coat, heels, um, also worked. Right. It kind of gave that silhouette that is kind of what you're looking for to really help slim you down a tad bit. We really appreciate you for being here. Yeah, and we're so, I, I don't know if you guys were on when we indicated that we normally, we're um, on Wednesdays at 9 o'clock, or I'm sorry, at 12 o'clock, and Mondays at 12 o'clock. And as the clock ticked toward time for our video, we realized we would be forcing you guys to choose between us and the inauguration of the President mm -hmm. of the United States. And we thought, nah, we'll lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Um, but at, as you can tell, there was a ton of stylish looks yesterday. I got to go out and get a Pico and um, some of those just gorgeous long length coats. I mean, that's pretty much what the whole style was yesterday. Was and, every, and everyone looked amazing wearing it. So yeah, clearly that's what's in style. We all need to, we all need to make sure that it's in our season though. And I love that it was, I, the men I have to say just wore, you know, kind of the black long length Peacoat, but I'm so happy that the women or most of them showed up in color, which is so nice to see, just having just that rainbow effect of all the different colors of jackets. It's so nice to have that come back as a style and as a trend, because for a long time, it was just tans and blacks and blues. 
And now we're finally getting some color back into those peacoats and really seeing some just amazing looks with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So we hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're really happy that you were here. I know Thursday is so weird. We can't call it a Wednesday show, but we hope you enjoyed this special Thursday show and thank you for sharing it with us. And we hope to see you guys on Monday.